Depot? That ought to fix the overheating problem. Can you believe it's been three months since Tech Magazine put me? Okay, us on the cover? The Super Merge takes item A and item B and combines them to create item C. Ugh, if only it were that easy. The article says nothing about dark matter, space-time manipulation, practical applications, nothing. I mean, the Super Merge could solve the energy crisis, Beepo. Watch! <laughs> Huh? Oh, not again. Oh, sorry, Beepo. Let's take a break and come back at this overheating thing fresh, okay?
Those rabbits, they seem to driven to cause chaos and mayhem. More so than usual, even. Unlike our two friends here, they seem to have been corrupted by that rabbit wearing the Super Merge headset. Could it be the Super Merge headset was corrupted on its way to this world? If so, we're all in terrible danger. Mario, we must find that poor rabbit fused to the headset. He's the key. Save him. We might just save the world. Okay, yeah, so w we could play more with the voice changer in a way that I think fits. So this is legit probably my favorite game on the on the Switch so far. And, like, I understand rabbits. You're fair to be judgmental of that, but it's actually good and not nearly as annoying and cringeworthy. This is a strategy-based game, and I find it super fun and super addicting, and... Lord help me, I just couldn't resist the urge to play it. I knew I was going to be LPing it at some point, but um, I didn't know how soon. I'm not going to be reading all the tutorial dialogue because I know how to play the game, but ooh, I uh, didn't mean to do that. Thank you. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't have a choice. So basically this, it's, everyone compares it to XCOM. You see that if they're behind cover, it's a 50-50 chance, and if they're not, it's a 100% chance. This is small cover, so it's like, it's 50-50 as to where if it were huge cover, it would be a 100%. Or a 0% chance of hitting them. So... And that's... that's how it goes. If you can't do it in one turn, I imagine it's not possible. But that would be kind of funny. Um, the world itself has, like, a fair bit of exploration, but it mostly focuses on just the strategy-based combat. So see those tall bricks? Those, uh, those are zero percent chance. Cowards, yeah. Okay, we'll skip all that. Alright, and then it says big words like flank, and I don't really know or care. Now, unlike some people, it doesn't let me do it. I am not going to be playing super duper cautiously or anything of the sort. If I take damage, I take damage. I'm not going to spend all day worrying about how not to take damage because I know for a fact I'm probably going to be taking damage. It's almost inevitable for a lot of these setups. Now, you can go ahead and do team jumps off of other characters if you click on them. Um, another great thing is everyone does play and feel different. So, Rabid Luigi, Rabid Peach, they're all very unique to each other. It's not the same um, for every character. This is like both a good and a bad thing, I guess. Like, if you really want to play as Peach or something, then, you know, sucks dick to be you. But other words, like, it's... It, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, and I like that. And it's four turns. Oh, good heavens. I don't have this memorized. I'm not going to be doing perfects all the time. I'm going to be playing and trying to 
go at a reasonable pace. I'm not going to waste all of my time in the world. The better you do, the more coin rewards you get. And um, coins will get you... can't pause or show anything yet. It'll allow you to get weapons and stuff. Right now it's got to lean us into a whole bunch of things. Slowly but surely. So a lot of the world outside of just, you know, the battles is you run around and you'll find chests and stuff like this. It's mostly just concept art and just other things that I've never bothered looking at. And then sometimes you'll be able to find, like, um, how to say. Bang, sky! See that? It began the moment the rabbits teleported into the Mushroom Kingdom. Hmm, the energy wave. The energy we've seen floating upwards after we defeat an enemy. I wonder. All the more reason to catch that rabbit with the super, super merge headset. He's the key to stopping this, I'm sure of it. They also throw in a fair bit of puzzle stuff. This really isn't a puzzle, but it's red coins. You know what red coins do. You collect them, and then you get a reward. I don't remember if it's eight or if it's less. This one's pretty lenient. Usually all the red coin stuff is a good reward, so in this case, let's push C. So, Mario got a new gun and it's always worth the red coins. Now, a lot of the puzzles are simple in concept, but can get pretty difficult. Like, the puzzles are just like, push this button, push that block, kind of things, right? Now, I don't, no, it looks like it's a block to push, but I'm not entirely sure, so. It's, um, it's interesting. There's stuff to look around and do. It's very basic controls, and honestly, I'm totally fine with that, because I feel like they stuck to their strengths, which is, honestly, I think important. They didn't overstep their bounds and try turning this into a racing game with terrible racing controls or anything of the sort. Like, they, they stuck to their strength. They picked a direction, they went with it, and then any little bit, you know, they didn't overstep their boundaries or anything, and I think that's totally fine. Now, can I... Still can't do it yet, all right? I also can't move the camera right now, either. See, it says no right at the top left. It says stop it, you idiot. We don't want you looking around. Also, um, noteworthy thing, because this is big deal and I know a lot of people like him. The music is composed by Grant Kirkhope. So, yeah, a lot of people like Grant Kirkhope. You know, for pretty obvious reasons, but... Yeah, he did the soundtrack for this game, and I think he did a pretty good good job, and I think it's kind of surreal to hear some of his music in Mario, or just him remixing memorable Mario music. Alright, let me, we hit a blue button. There's a the chest! I'm gonna try and look around and pick up as much stuff as I can, but I'm also gonna, like, try and focus on progression... Like, I do worry about the video dragging a little bit, so maybe, worst case scenario, I just fast forward some bullshit. I could see that being a thing I do. But in other words, I'm gonna try and make it as presentable as possible. I didn't come in with this as with a plan. I was like, I know I'm gonna have to do something to make this work. I don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out. Uh, if anything, maybe just the wandering around the world bit might be the most choppy or sped up thing, because... I feel like there's a lot to explore, and it can sometimes be confusing, or whatever. Like, I'll run around in circles a lot. I think that's the I did everything noise? Or has that noise been playing the whole time and I just haven't heard because I've been talking over it? Like, have I gone down this pipe? I don't know. The answer is no, I haven't. Prologue. Yeah, you can unlock cinematics. This will not be a 100% uh, playthrough as well. Um, I'm just kind of going through it casually. I say that because there are challenge missions at the end of the game. I'm not doing those. I do not care enough. But there is DLC, and we will be doing the DLC. 
I feel like there's supposed to be something more. Like, we hit the green, right? 